an FE, are low anyway, and have been eroded over the last decade with pay freezes while inflation has gone up. So we've actually, in real terms, lost 35% in the last decade. But that's in a sector that was already privatised in the 90s and has had lower wages than the secondary sector by about £10,000. I've worked here for about 12 years now and it's just minimum rise that has been happening. That's for the last two years. Before that, there was no rise whatsoever. What we're being fobbed off with is a token £500 added to 2.5%. Inflation suddenly, it's just spiked, hasn't it? 9.9%. We've got the base rate at the Bank of England currently at 1.75, possibly going up to 5, they say. We expect that by the end of this year, inflation will go up to 22%. Me personally, my rent went up by 10% in April. My energy bills have gone up by £120 a month. I am shocked by how little food I'm bringing home for me and my son for the same money I was paying last year. We have members who are phoning sick because they can't afford the bus fare to get to work. We've already heard we have members who are in that overdraft within days of being paid. We have members who don't cook hot meals for longer than 20 minutes three times a week because they can't afford the bills. Our principal told us that she could guarantee us a 1% increase in our pay. 1%. And if we recruit 1,600 students, you might get an extra 1.5%. We got an email two days ago from our CEO saying that their offer of 2.5% wasn't going to rise, they had no more money. We've seen their books. Our CEO is somewhere between 240 and 245k a year. Not negotiated, ratified by a board of governors who are appointed by the managers. NCG as a group has reserves of £58 million and they have an overdraft facility of £5 million. We know that they had £9.5 million to invest in financial instruments last year. We know that they had the biggest cash injection to the sector when their FE funding went up a couple of years ago out of any college group. got a situation at Southwark College with our time off. We've gone from a day rate, in other words, from it being calculated by days to hours, and they've got all the hours wrong. So I've got to fight them in terms of a pay rise and my hours of work. We don't even get time to plan. All other things come in as being urgent, and the time is taken away from teaching and planning. such a pleasure to be out with our supported learning colleagues, our backroom staff. <laughs> Teachers cannot do their jobs without professional admin and backroom staff. Our learners, they have come to join us on the picket line because they've had enough as well. They've had enough of the way that their tutors, their support workers, their cleaners, their uh, admin staff have been treated so poorly they're fed up with it. We support people and represent people who work in prison education. They just voted yesterday to take strike action. in the UK and come October they're going to be in a position to join you in taking action. It's necessary for everyone to join forces because nothing's going to change unless we show solidarity as one, not just one group, not just one union, all unions. I think that's exactly what's going to happen across the country, the mood is changing. If we could like build so that we're all out together, I think that would really show a clear message that ordinary people aren't going to take what's going on at the moment. We're not going to accept immiseration, a return to serfdom. <laughs> <laughs>